everybody, Bob here with another making stuff video. And it is finally summertime. I have opened the pool, so it's time to do a pool project. And what I'm going to do is take this circuit board that I have already built, and it has an ESP8266. That's a Wi-Fi module, and it also has an Arduino Pro Mini. And what this is going to do is take the temperature reading of my pool and take the temperature on set intervals and then send that data through the Wi-Fi module there to a data logging service. And what I'm going to use to do this is that circuit board. I've got a temperature probe here and this is waterproof. It's made for uh, reading water temperatures and I'm going to hook these two together and enclose it in this box. Now this is a waterproof box. It's got the rubber seal around the side and you may recognize this from one of my uh, horse trough videos. I think uh, this is left over from one of those. I've gotten rid of some horses so I don't have as many water troughs I need to monitor now. Uh, and I'm reusing the parts. And I'm also going to reuse this. It is a solar panel that came off of this motion sensor light. It's a solar motion sensor light and it worked great for a while. But it quit working a couple of years ago and it's just been on the side of the shop. So I'm going to take the solar panel from that and I have already checked it out. The solar panel is good. So I'm going to reuse this and it's going to power this whole project. Okay, so I was in the middle of hooking all of this up for final assembly. I've got the wires all going through the uh, watertight uh, connector there. Uh, I was hooking the battery up to the board and I was going to use this charger circuit here. Um, I was going to power the whole thing with this uh, LiPo battery and this charge circuit hook it up to the solar panel and I've used this board before on other solar product projects and it worked pretty good. Um, but as luck would have it I hooked the battery up backwards and I released all the blue smoke out of that little chip right there. So all the magic blue smoke is gone, so I'm going to have to order another board that has all the magic blue smoke in it. And this is an old board, and you can see where I got it. And it's not even red. It came from SparkFun, and it's not red, so this thing's old. Uh, so I'm going to order another one. So I think what I'll do is I'll just go ahead and hook this up and let it run off of the battery. I did get the battery fully charged with this before I unhooked everything and hooked it up backwards. So I've got a fully charged battery and I think what I'm going to do is just let it run and just see how long it'll run on that battery. And one of the tips I'm going to give you guys that I have found in the past, um, I've made other solar and wireless things, but these boards, the, uh, the Arduino, and these uh, Wi-Fi boards, they've got LEDs on them. And if you're going to do something like this, uh, even with solar, if you go several days without uh, sun, it could uh, possibly run your battery down. So one of the tricks I do is, now you've got to be good with the soldering iron, but I'll take these uh, LEDs, I'll desolder them from this board, and then that reduces the amount of power that these use and your battery will last longer. So there's a, a tip there. But uh, I'm going to hook this up and let it run on this battery. I will put the link to the uh, data, the data log, uh, in the description of this video and uh, you guys can check it out and see. Uh, right now I've got it running every 10 minutes. It'll read the temperature and also, I'm planning on adding pH to this as soon as I can find a decent pH sensor. If anybody knows where to get one at a decent price that does not have to be calibrated before every use, uh, send me a message or something and uh, I'll check it out. But you know, a $200 sensor is just not going to cut it for this project. So um, I plan on adding more sensors to this. This gets the whole framework and the, the base down. And uh, 
we will go from there and see how it works. So if you like what you saw, uh, give me a thumbs up. Be sure to, to subscribe and check out part two. I'll have the solar and all that hooked up on this as soon as I get another one of these in the mail, which where I live takes forever. But anyway, thanks for watching.